Can I just observe that the hunt for heretics begins with mild-mannered people who simply are conventional in their thinking and want to expose deviants, and it ends in a funeral pyre. It ends in people being mm-hmm. burned at the stake. Mm-hmm. That, that's what uh, the purity of uh, a devotion to the party line. I mean, okay, I exaggerate. I don't expect to be set aflame anytime soon. But my career could be destroyed. My reputation could be ruined. People could dig up stuff that happened in my life 35 years ago and wave it around like a bloody shirt because I disagree with them on affirmative action. Now, if you tell me that that's not cowardly and despicable way to behave in intellectual life, you better have a strong argument because it looks awfully cowardly. It's a long way from being an argument. You got a problem with Glenn Lowry making an argument. But I mean, the, 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 these people, you say you don't have any, uh, you know, you don't want to be mad at them. You don't want to, you, what, can they, what can they do? They can be vicious. They can be despicably vicious. They know not what they do. And they're repaired to character assassination. Well, you know. Uh, and, and, and their anti-intellectualism. They can poison the minds of youth. 